Yes, I think, pretty sure. I definitely need a net. He's kicking hard like one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yes, sir. What's going on, y'all? Uh, hopefully coming back at you with another video today. Uh, I'm gonna be fishing with Greg King from uh, Freedom Fishing and uh, I'll have his channel linked below if you don't already follow him or subscribe to him and follow along his stuff. He produces a lot of really good content, really great guy. Uh, I believe I'm gonna be fishing with another guy. I've never met him. Um, I, I do subscribe to his channel though and uh, his name is also Joey and I believe the channel is Sea Squatch or something. I'll have that linked as well uh, below here. But we're going to be going out on a boat uh, that, that Greg has got booked up at the, the Freedom Fishing Club here in St. Augustine targeting i think pretty much whatever will bite uh, so the goal is hopefully to bring something home for the cooler i have got to redeem myself because last time i absolutely got worked absolutely got schooled didn't put anything hardly in the box besides a blue fish and that's not a whole lot to be proud of so i'm going to try to redeem myself today went by my crab spot early this morning caught some crabs tried to net some finger mullet only caught one mullet out of about seven or eight throws uh, but it is what it is. Uh, I think that they they are going to be picking up some bait. So we're going to go and uh, we're going to be targeting, I'm sure, red, some redfish, some sheep's head, some black drum, <clears throat> uh, maybe some trout, and pretty much anything else that'll bite. So hopefully we can get it done. But the next time you'll see me, I'll be out there with them on the water. All right, let's do it. All right, y'all. Right, I'm going to try a flow rig real quick just along that edge right there and see what happens. We are on the sheep's head dock. Last of the outgoing tide right here. Got Greg. Got hey, Joey. Hey guys. What's going on? They're going to fish off the back of the boat. I'm going to try to fish off the front right here. If in a spot where I've got uh, took like crazy last time. So we're going to see if we can't redeem our... Oh gosh, that's not the right way to do it. Oh, oh no, come on. Are you serious? I tossed my bait right over the wood thing for the first cast. You did. And it's, the jig is hooked right there. Oh. <laughs> uh, is it gonna screw y'all up really bad if I pull the boat forward and, and undo it real quick? All right. Let's try this out. No more Guga moves. All right, Greg's the first one hooked up. Oh, is this on Papano? Is this Papano laying over? I'm gonna call Papano. He's kicking hard like one. Yeah, that's a nice one. So I would net him. Small mouth. He's gonna be close. Oh, he makes for good camera work. There we go. He's got the keeper, I think. I was about to say that. All right. Yeah, Greg, the pocket kicked it off. Greg's selling his fish to these guys. I'm going to take bids. It's hard for me to tell. I never caught any of that small one. All right, we got our first keeper right here. Yep, right in that cooler. Maybe. Watch the slack line, maybe. That's a good cast, man. Oh, there he is. He's back. Oh, uh, come on. There you go. Oh, my. Who is that? He was like pulling on it. Yeah, you had some rod bend before you even set the hook, like he was on it. That's uh, not. Greg was sneaking from the back, back coming in the back <laughs> door there. I saw that. I didn't even know I was hooked up. Oh, it's going to be a crab. It's going to be a toe fish. Oh, don't say that to me. Nope, it's his favorite. The same guy he caught over there. Hey, it's a bigger sea bass, except he swallowed the hook. I mean, that's a good sign. I just got the. Are you shrimping it too? Yeah. Well, another black sea bass. This one's about, I don't know, seven or eight inches. Not big enough. There we go. 
Yes, I think, pretty sure. I definitely need a net. Please, sir, coming right at you. Yes, sir. Finally. <laughs> it's not a giant, but it's a keeper. I'll get you, sir. Appreciate it. I think he's right at keeper. Man. I will come on this side of the boat. That was off a crab. Actually, two crabs. He is not a giant by any means. I'm going to say 13. Yeah, I'm going to 13. Come on. That's all that matters. Looks like he's 11 and a half for me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Just a joke, sir. <laughs> hey, you. Chill out, chill out, chill out. This is where I normally have my uh, fish grips in his mouth. I've got fish grips if you want them. I've got them in my bag, but I'm trying to be lazy. 12 and three quarter, almost 13. Hey, we'll take it. All right, Joey with the 13 inch. Let's go. It's about time. We put a keeper sheep, keeper fish in the boat. What is going on y'all back at you day after uh, fishing yesterday with greg from uh freedom fishing st augustine and from fishing with joey over there sea squatch i uh, had a great day with them guys out on the water got a, a good mess of fish right here i'll show you guys that picture uh right there as as we got this a uh, couple of good sheep said uh, a mangrove snapper, good size whiting, and a couple of pompano, which is uh, like, to me, that's a highly prized fish. So I can't wait to get into these and this uh, sea trout that was also a keeper. Uh, fortunately for me, uh, I did get to keep all the fish because those guys said they didn't want any of them. Uh, but I also did not catch all but one of these fish. The smaller sheep set is mine. Uh, it's been a it's been a rough couple weeks for me personally on the fishing front, but it's still a lot of fun to get out there. So we're gonna try to do a catch and cook today. Got a little bit of windy conditions outside right now, so I'm gonna try to do my best job. Uh, also looking at the differences between these fish species whenever we get them all filleted up and everything. Five different types of fish that we have to clean today. So to get, get you a little comparison of looking at them, this was the mangrove snapper at first. You can see it's a nice clean looking meat, no no problem to it. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. This is your speckled trout. Uh, got a little blood right there, but almost no bloodline in them. It's very delicious meat. It's very soft though. It's a very different texture than this mangrove snapper. This guy right here is the whiting, very similar to the speckled trout. Probably wider meat, less bloodline. Uh, also gonna be a super delicious fish. We got the pompano right here. Uh, different color, as you can see from these other ones, maybe more like the mangrove, but the texture is something that's very, very unique. Um, it is apt, it's, it's almost like a lobstery shellfish texture. So it's a unique fish amongst itself. Then we have the sheep's head. One of my favorites right there, absolutely beautiful. Gonna be delicious. We're gonna get these other fish knocked out in the next part you'll see. We'll be uh, prepping in the kitchen. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is chop up some ingredients. I'm gonna go into a sauce in which we'll have towards the end of this video. But the first one right here being just some fresh garlic cloves. Chop, minced them up pretty good right there. And then we're gonna move into this sweet onion where I'm pretty much dicing it up pretty small as well. Uh, and I'm gonna caramelize those onions right there and also use them in another uh, kind of an appetizer with some fish cakes that we'll go to later. And the last one of these is the shallot, which is an awesome, awesome ingredient uh, that adds a lot of flavor to the dish. It's gonna mince that up real fine as well. Right from there, we're gonna go into some Italian parsley, some fresh Italian parsley, and gonna do the same sort of thing. We're gonna mince that up pretty fine too, just as a garnish at the end, and also to go in a little bit of that sauce at the end too. 
and then uh, one thing that I have been just been on a kick here lately is some grilled bread and so uh, that's what I'm doing uh, I got some uh, friends coming over tonight that we're gonna feed all this food to so I'm just coated them with some olive oil salt pepper a little bit of garlic powder and it's gonna char up really really nice on the flat top it's gonna be awesome then we move to prepping our main course and this is something you always want to do with any type of fish that you are especially if you're grilling this or baking it you want to get it as dry as possible use just some paper towels pat dry I mean you can really see on this where all that moisture you want to get all that moisture trim any bones or anything you find uh, and then for this pompano because it's skin on I'm gonna score this skin right here it really helps a lot whenever you're grilling so that it won't tear the meat or curl up the fillets and so as you can see scoring it right there I'm gonna score the rest of these um, not super deep and then we'll move into patting dry the rest of the fillet now one thing I always say is you never want to rinse your fillets off with fresh water saltwater fish uh, when as soon as you begin to rinse them off with fresh water what it does is it softens the meat a lot and it really loses the texture and some of the flavor in it so don't do that just go ahead and just pat it dry it'll be fine I promise uh, and so that's what we did next we want to take all of our fish fillets that we're gonna be hitting on the flat top outside and we want to give them a heavy coating of olive oil and just really get in every little crevice and crack on those pompano fillets it really helps that uh, seasoning to really stick to it and uh, hold it on there better and it gives it that nice sear on every edge of the fish so you want to make sure you do that and one thing that I really like to add to some of my fillets right here is this Everglades heat man I like a little bit of heat uh, on some of my fish so I just did a couple of fillets for myself and left the rest pretty normal now these are the softer fish the whiting and the trout and what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to make those into the fish cake so I just season them up with salt pepper and garlic powder and I'll pop those into the oven at like 325 for a little while I think like 15 20 minutes they come out like this and so then I'm going to begin to kind of press those down to get the texture that I like which is a little bit more chunkier and then from there we'll go ahead and make our fish cakes starting out with some breadcrumbs some panko to give it a little bit of crunch a couple of eggs I actually wind up adding another egg in later you'll see those onions that we talked about earlier some garlic powder and then this sea salt which this is the best cooking salt out there man uh, you can find it on Amazon it's it's really really great I encourage you to get some and then I start throwing all that in there and I just really season to taste y'all I don't have an exact measurement I just season it until I like what I see and uh, right here you, I can see that the consistency is not quite what I wanted it's still too thick so I just add another egg in there to get it to the consistency that I want and once that happens this is the part where it gets a little bit dirty but you just get in little patties like almost like a golf ball maybe a little bit larger and then you flatten that out so it sears up really really nice on the grill and makes a good crust you just repeat that process for the remaining of your fish cakes and then we go out to the grill got the grill on high heat with some olive oil and butter and you'll see right here in just a second wanted to get it that nice crisp kind of edge on it uh, paired it up with some spicy mayo and it was great now let's get the grill on that fish fish up on the grill, put some butter around them, some olive oil, about to pull off this bread, should be about ready. I'm going to take this a little bit back, like that, like that. This bread should be pretty much good to go. Now this, give this a minute or two, flip it over the other side. All the pompanos are up here front, so hopefully we want to get that skin nice and crispy. Just flip these two, man, that is, it's like crunchy, that, oh, it looks so good. Looks so good. Oh, that way. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Man, it's like firm. I can tell it's like crispy right there. Awesome. Let's get the rest of them flipped over. These are the two. are the Everglades uh, heat right there. All right, let's get it going. All right, then we make our sauce. We caramelized them onions, then we added uh, those shallots and that garlic in there. As soon as you can start to really smell it, man, add some butter in there. After a bit, I decided to deglaze it with some white wine, not too much, but just a little bit. And then uh, added some broth in there just to add it, give it some volume. And man, it turned out fantastic. Seasoned with a little salt and pepper. And then here's a little overlook of everything. It's one of my best dishes that I had. And uh, we actually had our lead pastor and his family over. And this this is his daughter. 
we'll put Maddie B in the video. She was super stoked to be in that part, but no, it was a fantastic meal. We had a great time together. I did not film any reaction or anything at the end, but there was actually no fish left. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching up to this point, uh, it's a very different video than what I typically produce. Usually it's just fishing, uh, whether it's on a boat or a kayak from the beach, from land, whatever that may be. But uh, I wanted to include something a little bit different this time. And so uh, cooking is a passion of mine. Food is a passion. I think it's one of the best things about being a fisherman is fresh seafood. Uh, and so that's something we get to enjoy often. So I wanted to include a little bit of that here. If you like the content, uh, you know, make sure to let me know down in the comments. And if you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, approaching 700 subscribers right now, which is absolutely wild <laughs> seeing it grow uh, the way it has the past like a uh, month or two. But uh, thank you to everybody who has subscribed uh, up to this point. And if you would consider, if you have not already subscribed, subscribing would be greatly appreciated. But uh, it's been a fun time and we're gonna get after it again. I got a few more videos in the hopper, hopefully gonna pop them out this week. But thank you so much for watching y'all. Till next time, peace out.